Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on GTA 5 taking a look at perhaps one of the most incredibly detailed car mods I have come across. We have got another Deu in this game, which is very good news indeed. It is the Deu Lanos and an absurd amount of effort and work has got into this car. There is some 300 plus parts for it. That is ridiculous. For a fairly simple, I say a fairly simple hatchback, there are actually four or five different versions of this. There's a two-door hatchback, a, a five-door hatchback, the one I have here, there's the saloon car version, there's even a pickup version of it. Ridiculous amount of stuff goes on with this uh, car. Let's go jump into the modifications quickly. I've been kind of messing around with this sort of, uh, I say premium, I, I messed around and came up with this sort of rally spec car, a little bit silly of a rally spec car, but yeah, you've got all sorts of uh, different, so we've got spoilers going on, the race spoiler, sorry, the thing that's at the moment, you can have a yeah, lower level spoiler, you can have kind of what would probably be a more um, appropriate sort of a, a wing, then there's all of these different kind of top spoilers from different versions of the car. You can have some bikes on the back, <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous amount of stuff. Yeah, some of the things are just kind of like slightly different branding, slightly different badges and so on for you know, the fenders, for example. However, it's a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of stuff in with this with this car. We go from modern bumper. I actually quite like the modern bumper now. <laughs> Seen it on the car with the paint livery and so on. Racing different bumpers, tuner bumpers and, and so on. We can get some uh, yellow lights at the bottom if you want to. I haven't come across a car with as many different customization options, anywhere even remotely close to customization options as this. I love that of all the cars, it's a Deu that is one of the most detailed vehicles we could possibly have. I mean, the guys' previous Deus, we've used them before, were incredible as well. Some of those had a crazy amount of stuff, but nothing quite as crazy as, uh, as this one now. Of course, Deus do have one party trick. It is a party trick that... We don't quite know why it works, but it is one that does work, and that is they are the best getaway cars in the world. It is as simple as that. They have held various records during the Versus the Police series for being one of the fastest cars. I think it's still still overall in the top five, one of the days as top five quickest getaways from the army. The other cars, Formula One cars, race buggies and that kind of thing. Sure, you might expect them, but Deu. Deu is mighty when it comes to evading the army or evading the police. So, naturally, that is how we are going to have to test this rally spec Lanos. In fact, I'm just going to check because the game likes to turn off my bulletproof tires and we do need bulletproof tires. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Bloody game. Uh, <laughs> we do need bulletproof tires for this. You might have also noticed in the brief drive over here and with the AI cars trying to slow down for corners, well, well done. Good timing, Gauntlet. The, the, the conditions are not normal. No, I have got the kind of realistic ice and snow traction mod turned on, which means there is very little in the way of grip. Now, my Lanos is front wheel drive, which is perhaps better than the police cars that are going to be rear wheel drive. But, of course, all wheel drive is what you want, ideally. Uh, the Grangers that will give chase to us are going to be all wheel drive, so it, it's going to be difficult. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want a dump truck parking in front of me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, now I've got to go round the dump truck. No! Don't set green light. Oh, bloody hell, because the dump trucks actually have some good... We're going this way. Actually, no, I really don't want to go that way, because there's cars and a roadblock, and there's a helicopter coming to shoot me. Run, little day! Uh, while the cars are going to be, of course, the police vehicles are going to be heavily affected by the lack of grip. The helicopters are not... You're not stopping, are you, good officer? We can go behind you. Uh, the helicopters are not going to be affected by... Oh by these climatic conditions. Someone's putting their roof down for the snow. Audi, bad Audi, bad Audi, bad Audi. So I've got to try and deal with them somehow. I don't really know the best plan for dealing with those choppers at this moment in time. It will probably have to be a car park hide, but we will wait and see. Ooh, nope, we're going this way now. Uh, I have got off-road tyres on my vehicle in the vague hope that maybe possibly they'll have a tiny, tiny bit more, like, just 1% more traction out here will be really, really helpful, so I've put them on just in case. Uh, <laughs> I think there's going to be a car chase at 20 miles an hour because nobody can get any grip. It will eventually pick up speed. It's not a terribly slow car, this uh, mod. Oh, Fury, why, why would you do that? Uh, 
in standard in, in standard guys here, uh, it will get up to an okay amount of speed, even in the snow and ice. When I had it fully modified, I was doing 145 miles an hour in it. Now, I did take the modifications off because there was so much power, it just spanned it all away and just, it just never, ever got going in the snow. So, yeah, we have opted to uh, remove some of the engine upgrades uh, to try and <laughs> keep it vaguely vaguely drivable in the current climatic conditions. Oh, sports cars, please don't kill me, Cockett. Thank you. Now, speed, uh, maybe some speed. Just kind of gently does it with the power. Now we can start getting it up towards 60, 70 miles an hour down this main road. The police will have issues dealing with this. Uh, in fact, we're going to get up towards 80 or 90 miles an hour, and I'm going to have issues slowing this all down. Please don't freak out cars. Please don't freak out cars. Not only, of course, have the police not got any traction, none of the AI cars driving, the civilian traffic has got any traction either. And, of course, as they freak out and move around and swerve the bullets and whatnot, uh, they do things like that, and I don't know how to deal with it. Uh, we're good. We're just going to go for a really, really big slide. Yep. Totally meant to do that. There's a tree there. Let's not meet the tree. I'm sure it's a very nice tree. However, at this particular moment in time, I do not want to uh, have to have to deal with them. Uh, <laughs> it was a, I mean, it was an impressive slide. I will give the day you that much. It was impressive. Uh, not all that helpful. No Granger. Okay, we're going this way now. Uh, I didn't really want to go this way because there's a police roadblock, and I was likely to get shot at. Oh, well, we met a different tree. Um, it could have gone well. It could have been a worse meeting. Let's be honest. Uh, it could have been a much better meeting. Can I fit down that gap? Oh, oh well, can I fit down it? Yes. Will my car turn to make it down that gap? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it will not. Policeman drifting will not make that turn to get to me. Uh, thank you for getting out of the way, person. The, the, the people have got a better turning radius than 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 I do. They've got better... <laughs> better reaction, certainly. You've got to turn the wheel and then you wait for a little while and then nothing really happens and then you panic and then maybe a little bit of steering happens and then you panic some more and then you might have made it around a corner. That is essentially the handling at the moment. Thankfully, again, the police are having the same issues. Hey, they you fly through the air pretty well. I will give it that. I will, I will give it that. Oh, that policeman's in the... Oh, he's in someone's garden. He's not in the drink. Bugger. Uh, oh, I was hoping he was going to go for a swim. Uh, we've had to go this way. Not really through wanting to, but uh, I, I can't turn around and fight these cars particularly well. That's, uh, oh, that's just an AI car. Uh, I thought that was a great... Oh, go on, AI! Yes! Well done. Even the AI want the mighty Deu to be a success. There's a police car coming backwards through shot. That's what you want to see. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Riot vans in the snow and the ice heading towards you. Because uh, nobody can turn out of the way of that sort of a crash. Uh, thankfully, <laughs> it wasn't coming directly towards my face. So we have we got out relatively lightly from all of that. Uh, Taco Van, protect me from the mighty, well, whatever police force are bringing towards it. I love how the, the police have got the entire of their police force trying to chase down one day rally car. And struggling. The helicopter is the only thing really keeping them in it for the most of this. Oh god, the SWAT guys with their four-wheel drive Grangers are no match for the player-driven Deu. I'm just going to take a, a bit of a duck, because the, the Granger might not be a match for the car. However, the guys shooting will do some damage to me. Will, will do a fair bit of damage to me. Oh god, duck, duck, because that guy there is stood and will take pot shots. We've gone round in a big circle. Not really intended to hit. Oh, I'm in oncoming traffic. Oncoming traffic. Bad. There we go. 70 miles. How fast? Mm, this, is, this is a dumb game to play. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to say this now. How fast can we get the car inside the city in the snowy and the icy conditions? Oh, bugger me. There's a van there. It's terrible because you can see the accident that's going to befall you, but you cannot do a single thing about it. You know that you are about to plow into something solid. Oh, this was a bad decision. Ugh, those cars up ahead have got more traction than me. In fact, the police have got more traction. Okay, better idea. Abandon, abandon, abandon all hope. We're not going to get up the hill. We well, we will, but we should go very slowly. And then we get murdered by shooty policemen. Oh, you mean bugger. Oh, that's not a way we want to go. It's not a way we want to go. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. No, they've got out. They've got shotguns. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> no. The mighty day who was beaten by an icy hill. Bugger. Well, it is safe to, ooh, safe to say that uh, <laughs> the, the first chase did not go according to plan and I managed to spin in a car park. Um, 
Yeah, that, that wasn't quite the plan. Also, uh, just because there was a jester happened to be next to me. For whatever reason, with this, uh, like, attraction additions to the game, the jester physics get really freaked out. It's the only car that does weird things, apparently. If you happen to see one, they, they freak out massively and just can't drive them. So, uh, yeah, you may see... Je oh, taxis taken out of lamppost. You may see jesters doing strange things if one happens to be sporting in traffic. Uh, let's get the police after us again, shall we? Let's try and do a little bit better job. We've learned that uh, it is not a good idea to drive up a hill. Not Certainly not a steep hill unless I have a lot of momentum going towards it. Bad plan did not end well for the poor, <laughs> poor little day. So we will not do that anymore. If we can help it. Whoop. <laughs> I like this. I like this mod. And I do like this mod quite a lot. But just watching dopey things happen... Sometimes to me. Sometimes to me, I will be honest. Thank you, Gauntlet. That's what we needed. It's a solid start. A solid start for the day. Thankfully, incredibly strong. Incredibly strong car, it seems, so far. Oh, we're going to go for a big handbrake turn. Maybe get some traction. And then we will... Uh, it's, it's not massively dramatic. I will be honest. I'm not even going to make it into... Oh, God, that gap. That's bloody... Bloody wall. Uh... Okay, now we've done a little bit more damage to the car ourselves than I, I would have ideally liked. It's not the best opening to our, <laughs> to our getaway here. Just fire uh, much, much flames out of the side of the car. I, I'm not quite sure about the side exit exhaust, I will be honest, on a little day. However, there was an option for a side exit exhaust, and it would be rude not to go for it, basically. That's why we have <laughs> the side can on this one. Oh, I can't stop. Nope. Okay. So, that's another one of those instances in that I could see there was going to be a crash. If I tried to put my foot down, there would have been a faster crash. If I tried to get on the brakes, there would be a crash. Just a slightly slower one. And that's what I went for. And it, mm, Yeah. There are quite a few in in incidents, moments. Where are you going, Banshee? Oh, you're actually going to make it into the tunnel. I'm quite impressed. Where there is very little in the way of choice you have as, as a player. But that's the, the challenge of these conditions. You know, trying to drive around at 50, 60 miles an hour oh, in very, very snowy conditions without proper snow tyres. I mean, these are trying to help with off-road tyres, but they're not proper snow tyres, are they? Uh, you would have a lot of difficulty. The... Oh, the Infernus ha had some trouble. I managed to fit through a very, very small gap. Uh, we're still going, but we are going to bump into a wall. Oh, no, we got away with it. We just kind of grazed off of the wall. Dodge the roadblock, dodge the roadblock. Don't get understeer. Oh, bugger. I, I, I played my luck and I got through a couple of gaps, but the the third one there, that beat us. Uh, buildings, buildings, buildings are good. Buildings are fun. We can play in these and helicopters have real issue following us. I've taken some heavy hits actually so far and car is okay for now. I say helicopters have trouble following us. Apparently not the one above us. Sometimes they do. Probably would have more trouble if I was going quickly. Uh, we're not really going quick enough. Where are we going, Oracle? Move! Uh, not really giving them uh, yeah, too much trouble in terms of the speed front. If you want to give me a push, Rapid GT, it would be appreciated. Uh, oh, Grange is going to have a crash. Where is he going to bounce out? I don't know. I have seen a few times when Jukes do sport in traffic, uh, the AI can't drive them in a straight line with, these, uh, with this sort of traction going on. They just spin wildly. Oh, there's a Jester doing a donut in <laughs> <laughs> Just the jester minding his own business, having a party in the middle of the uh, of an intersection somewhere. <laughs> we almost actually got away from the choppers. I had to slow down to make a corner. I mean, all credit to the day, you, with the exception of... Where is this Voltic going? I just wanted to get past. Why are you on the pavement? You get into the road. Uh, with the exception of the helicopters, I could lose the cars. I could lose these cars without too many issues, and that's even the four-wheel drive Grangers. Uh, out of the... Well, no, maybe not out of the way. Bad. You're gonna... Sorry, I've got to... Ah, I couldn't... <laughs> couldn't kill them quick enough. Ah. I kind of hoped that we might have had the speed, the momentum to shunt the Granger out of the way. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Well, what we have learned so far is that a small hill can cause problems for the day. In fact, can cause problems for anything with this little amount of grip. Uh, also, Grangers are stronger than it. As much as I hate to admit it, as much as I hate to admit that may... Ooh, well, where did you come from? 
I'm not sure, but I'm guessing from the bike, but uh, either way, I digress. As much as I hate to admit that the day you might not be perfect, it, it, it doesn't push Granges out of the way very easily. Neither does it apparently push the Hydrants. I thought they were explodable, but we probably weren't going fast enough. Uh, <laughs> Pre, I would crash into you, but I have no control over where I am currently going. Uh, we're gonna go play in the car park, are we? Ham oh no, we're not gonna. Um. Oh bugger, bugger, bugger! Camera reverse. Go, Michael. Michael, you might be in trouble, mate. Oh, this doesn't really go in. Okay, reverse. Poor idea. Forwards. Yes, it was a trap. You see, we confused the police car, so we got stuck in the little alleyway. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Might have confused one. There's three directly ahead. None of them can turn, though. Haha. <laughs> oh, he has got better brakes than I thought. Bugger. Run. Oh, I might have also not got bulletproof tires on. I think I might have lost a tire. Can we now give my car bulletproof tires while driving along? I keep forgetting the game. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played with mods. And I keep forgetting that uh, the game likes to reset. Of all the settings, it likes to reset the bulletproof tires one. So we can, thankfully, do that while we're driving along. This is not quite the easiest thing. I'll fix it just in case there was a tire burst. I don't know if there was. So we will fix the car. Little bit cheesy, but bugger it. We've... <laughs> We shall carry on regardless. Oh, that's a lot of policemen down that alleyway that I don't really want to be going towards. Oh, thank you, Lamp. That's the most useful bit of scenery I think I've ever come across in a game, ever. Normally, it is the bushes screwing us over and getting us stuck and causing much pain and misery. However, apparently the lampposts help the car get round corners. Who knew? Um... Do we go back to playing the dumb game of how fast can we go inside the city? I mean, I'm kind of tempted to because there's a bit of a straight here. We've actually got some momentum going about us. Please don't turn in front of me because I've got no brakes. Prius, look out. Uh, everything is crashing around us. Can we get 100 in the day? Not if there's a numb. Uh, we're fine. We're not really fine because uh, this is full lock. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> 81, I think, is what we got up to. I really wanted 100 there, but... <laughs> We swerved a bunch of obstacles, and then just too many. Too many appeared. Also, this has not been a good place to go, because there are so many police. Why are there so many police out here? Like, in the city centre, there's hardly... I guess in the city centre, they get stuck on everything. This might have been a poor decision I have made here. Um, I'm not sure I want to go to the scenery. We know what happened on the small icy tarmac hill, let alone on a large icy dirt hill. Oh, bugger, there are so many police cars out this bit. Oh, no! Dare you find some, just a little a smidgen of traction would be good. Ooh, might have found a smidgen of traction, at least a way to get round corners. It involved a curb and kind of scooping the car around the turn using the curb. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. We're slithering our way through there. This was a really bad place to go. I'm getting shot a lot. I'm in a bit of trouble. Out here was not a good way to go. We've not got much health, I've not got much turning, and there's a roadblock that is going to try and shoot me to bits. Oh, there you make a turn, thank you. Oh, curb. Hook the car on the curb, and that might do the job. Hook, please, hook. Uh, kind of, kind of working a little bit. I think we've got to hook maybe the, yeah, maybe the right-hand side wheels when we're taking that, that sort of a turn might, might have done the trick. Either way, I mean, we're not really out of the woods just yet, because there's a whole bunch more police cars over here. <laughs> Uh, this is terrifying. Normally, I say normally, the Deus are some of the best getaway cars in existence. I did just spit fire at a petrol pump. I'm not sure that's safe. However, we're okay. Uh, yeah, the Deus are amazingly brilliant getaway cars. However, in the snow, in the snow we're having trouble. And I think it's... I'm, that's how I'm going to blame the helicopters more. I think I can outrun the cars. I think I can outmaneuver the cars, but the helicopters are more affected, of course, by this this traction issue and make life very difficult for me. We are going to have to try a car park. No, 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 Huntley! I didn't want to go this way. Uh, come on, land it, land it, land it. This could be the best stunt ever. No, oh, well, it could have been the best stunt ever, and we <laughs> kind of worked. Um, I don't really want to go out out of the city. Um, that probably won't end too well for me. Over the turn, please turn, dare you go? No, no, don't squeeze me against the wall. Haha! <laughs> I shall now proceed to outrun you, Mr. Plod. In fact, I will outrun the plod. Haha! <laughs> Look at that! We have got the speed. There might be a gap there. It might be filled by a dump truck. Oh no! I didn't know where the dump truck was going. Thank you, dump truck. Oh well, yeah. Are <laughs> we gonna die again? I think. I think we're gonna die. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I could have got through the gap. The, the really annoying thing is I panicked, I changed my mind, and then we hit the wall because I changed it too late. I thought the dump truck was going to fill that gap. We could have actually made it. That's really annoying. Oh, 
Helicopter lost to a signpost. We've lost a helicopter. Oh, quick. Plan, 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 plan. Oh, there is still one helicopter behind us. Oh, turn. Dayu, please turn. Because again, another technique you can use to you lose the helicopters is with these sort of sudden changes of direction using bridges and so on. Now, that works in the dry because you can change direction and get going again very quickly. Oh, don't explode. That was that was foolish. Um, but in these conditions, I just can't put the power down. Oh, that being said... Plan. Sneaky plan. Sneaky plan. Go, little Dayu. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, I can't get into there, though, can I? Oh, bugger. How does one get... Oh, no, I can't get into there from here. There's no way into that part, because it's not got the ground clearance to climb over the wall, and there is a roadblock up there. Oh, no! Sneaky plan is failing, although hiding under a bridge apparently is enough to uh, confuse the cops here. <laughs> Oh, this isn't good. Something is going to come down the motorway and murder me. I know it is. Uh, there are others. Helicopter coming overhead. So I, ca I can't... <laughs> the worst bit is, I can't leave here because there are too many choppers. However, the cars are, I think, on the wrong levels. So there is a roadblock behind. There are... Oh, no, there's a Granger coming down there. That will spot us. Bugger, it was so close. It was so nearly a clever plan. Had there not been that low wall there. Oh, maybe I could have got over there. It would have been real pushing my luck. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it nearly bloody worked. We nearly rolled off of a motorway and got away from the police in doing so. How, how, would, how dare you were an escape would that have been? I don't think we could have done much better. I think we are going to have to go for a car park blast. I don't think there's another way of doing this, really. Uh, oh, God. Please, please slow down. He does get up to some okay amounts of speed. I think that's probably the, the, the best best way I can put it. It is an okay amount of speed, given the conditions. Uh, and then that makes it quite scary trying to then lose said okay amount of speed. Look at the... <laughs> you're in an SUV that's four-wheel drive. How have you wiggled over there? Or maybe you're British. That would ex also explain why you're on the wrong side of the road. But uh, either no, 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 cavalcade. <laughs> this is a silly thing. <laughs> This is a silly thing that we are doing, but I'm quite enjoying. I'm quite enjoying the challenge. Oh, I need to get into that car park. I need to get into that car park. Please turn. Thank you, Dayu. We've just about made it into the car park now. I'm not sure we've really got a big enough gap over these police cars, although my hope is that the police cars will have real issues trying to get into this car park as well. My hope is that they will overshoot corners, they'll get lost, they'll get stuck. Come on, get around the turn. The only issue is the Granger will probably be better than me. That's the problem that I foresee here, is that the Granger is actually going to be pretty good at getting up these ramps, and my Dayu is not, because we've overshot. Oh, bad things are occurring for the Lanos. I think Lanos, I think that's how it's pronounced. I've, I've got all this way through the video, not really knowing or much caring. However, come on, Dayu. Come on, Dayu. We can, we can make this. I think we've got one more flight of... Fl flight of stairs? Well, I mean, one more flight of stairs would probably work as well, but one more ramp. And I think that's, if I remembered correctly, the high point of this car park. We've got to stay in cover, naturally. We don't want helicopters to spot us here. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit uh, beaten up. It is a little bit beaten up, is the old Lanos here. Um, there are many bullet holes, especially in the back. Few in the roof, quite a lot in the bonnet. I don't think we've got a window anywhere in the car. We've lost both of the wing mirrors as well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> speaking of damage-wise on this car, you can actually like, smash the wing mirrors. I think the same kind of as, as the windows. It's quite impressive level of detail here. And the front bumper's a little bit buckled. The light stayed on. The rally light stayed on. I don't know if we can lose... I guess if we lose the bonnet, the lights will come with it. Uh, <laughs> got a full complement of parts on the most around here. Come on. Police, <gasps> no, go, go, go down or up. I don't care which way you go. Just don't come this direction. I can't actually see if there's anybody on. I should probably move slightly further forward to see if there's anybody coming down that ramp. So if I need to do like a last split second decision, oh, we did it! We did it! The day. Oh, we could have got another one up. <laughs> Oops. Um, I was wasn't even paying attention. We could have gone a slightly further and made it a bit easier for ourselves. However. It did. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. I, I confused them because I parked on the wrong level to normal and they thought, right, we'd, we know where to go. Uh, but they did not. The, <laughs> the mighty Deu has once again completed the getting away from a very determined police force. It wasn't quite perfect. It wasn't quite perfect. We did die a couple of times. We couldn't push a Granger out of the way. Uh, is there a mess of police cars anywhere? No, apparently not. Hmm. 
Um, however, we were successful. We were indeed successful at getting away from the uh, from the police. And this is a, a fantastic mod. I really highly recommend you check it out. It might not be the most exciting car uh, in the world as a base vehicle, but just the amount of customization you can do on this is utterly incredible. And I love I love having cars like this in GTA 5. You know, it's all very well and good having every McLaren, Ferrari, and Lamborghini and so on. And you kind of expect to see them in in most games. But a vehicle like this, you just don't see, and you can mess around with it. And yeah, with the amount of stuff you can can do with this particular mod. Uh, huge amount of, of options of customization and so on that though is uh, going to be it for this video i shall of course link all the mods used in the description so you can download them have a go with them yourself but uh thank you very much for watching and until next time uh goodbye <laughs>